finish up your details. Teddy will be. We'll have you individually. Oh wait, that's me. Excuse me, club manager. Oh, did I forget to mention that? She's the mystery club's manager. Miss Yamashiro points to the one of the girls. Oh, I see. Miyamane nods, or Amana nods briefly with a sour look on her face. Really? That little bit right there? Hi, whoop dead nose. Activities for the Tribal Studies Research Club, aka Mystery Club, are scheduled for Mondays and Thursdays. But neither Miu nor Sai are involved in any other clubs, so they'll be in and out of club room on other days too. Hey guys! Oh, Lady Maimi! You're awfully early. Are you done with tennis already? Today? Or wait. For today, yeah! The varsity team was dismissed early because we have a tournament this weekend! Even while on multiple clubs, you remain the tennis team star player. And again, I'm not in the tennis club. Snarky. The way you say that really getting to me. I don't oh, I don't really know what Saya meant by that, but Miami seems to have picked up on what Saya was implying. Saya's been playing tennis since she was little, and even went to national tournaments in junior high school. I nod with curiosity. If she's so good, why didn't she join the tennis club? Well, her family's super rich, right? Apparently she even has a tennis court at her house. Her life must be on a completely different level from the rest of us. Saya Kamishiro is not all, only on a tennis ace, but also a competitive golfer. Her family even hosts golf tournaments. Now why are you here? Vicious! There are no boys allowed here! Will you please go away? Hey, you let him in, but I gotta leave. What kind of rule is that? Huh? I'll explain if it's in three letters. Three letters, that's kind of... Out. <laughs> Out! Rat! Pig. Ha! <laughs> Let's not talk about this so seriously. Words can be hurtful. Why don't Mana get in on that too? Pig was a good one. Nice job. That was weird. The game froze. Hello? Oh, maybe it's because she answered her phone? Oh, what's the matter, Hattori? Wow. I guess the no cell phones rule here doesn't apply to Kamishiro family. Oh, that was her ringtone. That's funny. Her ringtone was blasting, too. Yes, I understand. I think that will be fine. Yes, she will be able to draw young people. And it's generally popular. Yes, goodbye. Hey, Saya, what's that called? About the movie? What do you mean? I heard on the news this morning that Karen's World End book is being adapted into a movie. Oh, so the rumor about the adaptation was true. Apparently, and a major food manufacturer is sponsoring it. Major food manufacturer? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Lady Miami, I'm sorry, but I must leave early today. A movie adaptation of a novel based on Mihata Town. A wild renowned snack maker sponsoring. Gee, what's the link? I'm sorry, but I have a meeting regarding a movie to attend, so you'll have to excuse me. Hold your horses, Saya Kamishiro. Is Kamishiro Do involved in this movie, project, or is it not? Hey! You're not getting away! The world demands to know the truth! I really think she was dropping plenty of hints for us, don't you? She did. She said she had a meeting regarding a movie. Hey, Kensuke! Why are you so excited? It's just a movie. All you care about is idols. And this has nothing to do with... Or... Does it? <laughs> so you finally realized it! Haven't you, Mikes? I told you not to call me that! 
That's right. It's about the lead in the movie. <laughs> about the lead in the movie adaptation. The original novel is a ya romance about a schoolgirl. It's a ya romance. She ends up involved in the Obito legend. Anyway, high school girl means it. Yeah, actually, oh, I messed that up. Whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. Sure. And who has a great influence on the casting besides the director or the author? Yes, Mikes, tell us. I didn't raise my hand. That's right, the sponsor. You're not listening. And if the sponsor is the Kamishiro then who's the best candidate for the role? New guy? Tell us. If I recall correctly, Kamishiro Do has a brand ambassador. Oh, could it be right? Is that the theme song of this? <laughs> that must be the uh, <laughs> the theme song for it. Good Choco Panda. You've heard the ad before from the number of idol group in the nation. Zetai Zetsume Panda. Ray Nikado. Also known as Nikare. Oh. That's where the name comes from. Was that supposed to be an impression of her? He was trying really hard. Uh, I feel sick. You get it now? There's a good chance that Rei Nikado will be chosen to play the leading role. Miu's about to say something. Dirtbag. Uh, well, there you go. She's been throwing horrible worlds at me all day. Anyway, I can't be screwing around here. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to call this early. Bye. He really does think he's a member of this club, doesn't he? Scum. She's a woman of few words. Oh, that's a rarity. While I'm on the or while I'm on the way home, a sudden voice makes me turn around. A woman is standing behind me, holding a parasol. She's in her mid thirties, I guess. Her soft smile gives me an aura of elegance, or gives off an aura of elegance. That thing you have. That's it. She points at the red brochure sticking out of my backpack. This brochure? Yes, that's the guide to Mihate Town, isn't it? I'm sorry, but where did you get that? It was just laying around at home. At home? I see. The town had them printed up a long time ago for tourists. But within a week of printing, the town faced an enormous debt, so they had to stop distributing them. It's very rare. Is that right? Yes, you can't get them anymore. It's a true rarity. The red color. It's crimson. Crimson. There were five versions of the brochure printed. Why don't you try collecting them all? Oh. It's a collect quest. And if you do find a hive of the different shades. Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for stopping you so suddenly. How rude of me to interrupt your busy day. What if I do find them all? You didn't tell me. I hope you enjoy Mihatai Town. The woman bows politely and walks away towards the woods. What happens if I get all five? You got the red brochure crimson. Okay. They will unlock new tips in the tips menu. But I can't ever get into the tips menu. Sims music. The day is coming to an end. What exactly do I want to do? What have I come to this town for? Good night. Up next, entertainment. The movie adaptation has been confirmed at last. The popular movie novel World End is being adapted into a movie. Popular idol Rei Nikaido has been announced as the star. Rei Nikaido has the central position in the popular idol group Zetai Zetsume Panda, and her fans call her Nikarai. It will be Miss Nikaido's first film project. She will be playing as a high school student around her own age. When asked how she felt about the film, she said, This role is very important to me personally. I'll give it my all. Alright, these things are flying by now.
Let's see if we can get through another one in 15 minutes. Another meeting day. The rainy season has begun. It is melancholy like every year. Once all the rain has passed, summer will arrive. It's like the sunny days are the light at the end of the rainy tunnel. However, I've been in the tunnel since before the rainy season. Long, long before. Anyway, I'll hold over if I stop by my house. Reserve a suit for me. I nod to him and Kensuke throws up his hand in a wave. The runs away. Once Kensuke has disappeared into the rain, I hear a head for Cafe Pastiche. Hey, the pinwheels are gone. I find a purple umbrella along the damp path. My heart reverberates. A pair of slim ankle peeks. A pair of slim ankles peeks out from below the umbrella. I wish it showed that. That's. I increase my pace and catch up to the bearer of the umbrella. On your way home? Her umbrella jolts upwards and she turns a worried face towards me as if she's been startled. However, her expression quickly disappears and she fixes her gaze to the path ahead of her. Of course she doesn't respond. I'm headed to your cafe. I can't keep a conversation going with her. <laughs> this rain sucks. It's rainy season. Yep. I really can't keep a conversation going with her. Uh, knowing that this conversation won't last, I figure I might as well mention this. When I first came to this town, I feel like I saw you. It was in the late afternoon, on June 1st, in front of the station. You remember? Was that you? Also, what happened to the lady that was in the... The bus? The train? At the very beginning, lady. You disappeared when I looked away for a second. That was you, right? Why were you... Don't know. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. She rushes ahead, putting distance between us. I silently watch the purple umbrella bobbing through the rain. Her umbrella reminds me of the pinwheels everywhere in the town before it disappeared in the rain. Is it going to be another <laughs> Okay. These have gotten suddenly very short. Okay, another meeting day. Whoa, where are we? There she is! It's Rei Nikaido! This is your first leading film! film. How has this busy schedule affected your idol activities? You personally requested this role, but how confident were you that you'd be selected for it? Many critics are saying this film will end up being a puff idol film. How do you feel about that? Oh, that her Please settle down, everyone. Settle down. My name is Charlotte Tatsumi from Tatsumi Productions. You look like a Karen. She's here to ask for the manager. There she is, the super manager. She feels facilitating this. Yes. Look at all the agents in bad side. Just what she says. The press conference will now begin. We'll take questions once for the press conference is over. First, here's a greeting from Nikaido. Thank you for coming this afternoon. I am Ray Nikaido, and I'll be playing the lead role in the movie. Look at her hair, it's awesome. That's hair made for fighting games. I'm delighted to participate in the announcement for World End. As an actress, this is my first film. And I'm very nervous about taking such a huge risk. You're nervous! You're sure about that? I heard you personally requested this role! Did you use your connections? You're the brand ambassador for Kamishiro, the production partner for the film. Some say it was rigged! We will be taking questions after the press conference is over. Out of the line! Which outlet are you from? It's okay! Miss Tatsumi, I'll answer! Hey, yeah. Ever since I was little, I've always wondered about... I already forgot the voice I gave her. I've always wondered about where our spirits come from and where they go. The concepts of life and death used to be the basis of the World End novel greatly moved me. The novel is set in Mihate Town, a real existing place. As I learned about the legends, here is my feelings grew. When I heard that a film and adaptations in the works, I couldn't sit still. I requested a chance for an audition. 
What? That doesn't answer my question. I know you auditioned and everything, but it was already a done deal, right? We'll take questions after the conference. That's enough. Your sponsors, oops, your sponsors from Ka Kamishiro don't push for you, right? You're awfully friendly with Mobu Ka Kashimiro. Wow, Kashimiro. Kamishiro, there it is. You must obey Please tell me you nutted him. If you want to be here. They replaced... She spoke English right there. Did she speak full English? Shut up. You must obey our rules if you want to be here. Beta. The, there it is! She explodes an angry English when she's PO'd! There it is. Yeah, she did speak in English. It's funny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I know you. You're that infamous pain in the ass freelancer, Todo. Aren't you? Get out! Get out of here now! Hey, stop! I, oh, I don't know what you're saying! Nice. Several men in sunglasses who look like special guards drag the reporter Todo away. <laughs> Please excuse the unseemly commotion. Please continue, Ray. They're going to keep going. Safe? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okie dokie. Cruising through it now. She's been talking for three days. Oh, this is radio. I was also given the opportunity to meet with the author of the beautiful novel, Kaori Yamashiro. Now that I've been selected, I won't let anybody down. Filming will start in the summer, and I plan to focus on it without booking any other work. Unfortunately, for fans of ZZ Panda, the group will go into hiatus just for the summer. That was Rei Nikaido, lead actress. One journalist was escorted after requesting comment of our statements. Oh, she's so cute! Cute! So goddamn cute! Contrary to our usual arrangement, we're sitting in the corner. Not because the cafe is full, but we, so we can see the TV. I knew Nikare would be picked for the lead, but I didn't expect Sweet Nikare would have personally requested it. Idols are all sellouts. Sellouts! I tell ya. Maybe she's got a pretty sweet relationship with the producer? Are you kidding me? The Kamishiro Do owns the production. That means Mibu. Kamishiro is the producer of the movie. <laughs> That's Saya's brother. I did hear that Mibu is one of the hell of a player. He's left a trail of broken hearts in his wake. He's handsome and rich. I guess money talks, huh? My goal of making Nikare my wife who is collapsing before my eyes. No, my main rival isn't Kamishiro Do. It's Kento Kajima. The male lead in the film. He's feisty with women too. Oh, Nikore. Will our love story come to a tragic end? What are you saying, Gensuke? It's not like she's getting married. You still got a chance. Don't give up. Really? You're encouraging him? Yeah, you're right. Feeling starts in this town in August. This is my chance. You're totally right, Maimi. Maimi? What was the voice I gave him? You were just joking when you told him not to give up, right? Yeah, but his reaction was too sad to watch. I kind of wanted to see if he's got a shot now. <sighs> Barkeep, give me a beer! You're too young to try to use alcohol to forget your worries. <laughs> hey, new guy! Do you think there's any way we can get closer to Nikare? Well, uh, I don't know. What do you mean, well? Nikare is gonna be in town for over a month, yeah? Maybe I'll we'll just run into her sometime. That's pretty unrealistic. I won't get my hopes up for that one. It's absolutely, absolutely realistic. It'll happen, I can feel it. Nikare and I are bound by an invisible thread. Kansuke, you are relentlessly optimistic. Hey, Mew! Hey, Mew! Can you take this drink to table three? Mio replies instantly, placing the drink on her tray and taking it away. Hey! Why is Amano dressed like that, anyway? The frilly goth dress. I love it, but I can't see her choosing it. Oh, that. Let's see. Katsuki. 
Do you know a ninja that gets super mean ninja abilities? Ninjas? Uh, no, not a clue. First, they found a sapling in their yard. Just a little one. Maybe five centimeters high. Any child, any young child can jump over it. The young ninja jumps over the sapling over it. And over, day in and day out, over and over and over again. Is this gonna take long? But the sapling grows bigger, day by day. The change is so small it isn't noticed, but the ninja still jumps it. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, but I was asking about Mews. You look like you've got on, newcomer. That's right, the ninja's able to jump to a full grown tree eventually. That's impossible! What does that have to do with the Lolligoth's outfit anyway? Mew's been working here since she was little, right? She was in grade school on her first day. We told her it was the cafe uniform and made her wear it. Mew didn't, Mew didn't dare say anything about it. In fact, she was happy to wear it because it meant she was able to help run the family business. And my only job was to adjust the dress as Mew grew up. <laughs> That's it. I still don't get where you're going with the ninja story, but I'm impressed. That's all I've got to say. Right? It was a long journey, but now we're reaping the rewards. Oh man, you sneaky devil. <laughs> do either of you know? Oh, do either of you know how much both of you sound like creeps? That's not very nice, Mikes. I'm not the only one enjoying Mew's business attire. That ain't business attire! Me all mana in that dress? Flitting about like a bumblebee! What a man wouldn't take a second or a third look! Now she punches him. I might as well stare so hard it pours a hole through that dress, right? New guy? Uh, me? Yeah, how about it? Are you enjoying Mia's outfit? Fuck! It's giving me a choice, of course it is. I'd like to see my me in it! Wait, that's my cousin. Uh, I guess so. Huh? What? I didn't think you and Kensuke were the same type. Well, now I know. I'm getting a lock from my bedroom door. That's a big misunderstanding, Miami. This is a simple, healthy psychological response from a healthy males. I don't care. This game's weird. It started off interesting, now it's... Bleh. Well, hello everyone. Nice to see you all gathered here. Ga Saya Kamishiro. What a princess like you doing in a hole in the wall cafe like this? Watch your mouth, Kensuke. Oh, I do have the right to enjoy the life of a common man. Well, some of us don't have a choice but to enjoy a common man's life. Please don't take it personally, Lady Miami. Garson, one cup of Imperial Earl Grey with a... F Fancier accomp accompaniment. Okay. <laughs> or was that financier? Uh, could you order something off the menu, please? What's gotten into you, Saya? The last time I took you here, you stormed out because they didn't have moist towelettes. <laughs> we do have moist towelettes now. I got thirsty on the way home from location scouting. This place caught my eye, so I had Hattori pull up the car. I see. So that black car is yours then. That's a huge car! Looks so out of the place in Mihati Town. Anyway, Garson! One cup of your finest red tea then. Hey, take the seat at the counter. Did you say you were locating or location scouting? I knew you were involved in that movie. Now that we've announced it, I suppose I can say Kamishirodo is leading the production. That's a pretty dress, Miyu. The official announcement was made the other day at the Kamishiro Hotel. I'd like to know where you're involved, Saya. Why should my involvement with the film make any difference to you? Isn't it obvious? I want to help me. I want you to help me meet Nikare. I've been her fan since Let's Settle the Score debuted. I'm only helping out a little. My brother's handling the majority of the production. What? So Nikare and Mibo Ka Kamishiro really are? Or what? Ignore him, Saya. He's just going crazy over Nikare. Well, listen, Asagi. I don't recommend meeting anyone you're a big fan of. Huh? Why not? 
Idols are idols. They work hard to satisfy their fans through the camera lens. Yaman. Oh, that's um her brother. Sounds erotic. Was it not? I don't remember who Yamato is. Saya, don't twist my words around. Nothing good's from meeting. Nothing good comes from meeting your heroes in real life, you know. For example, seeing them in the bathroom. Nikare never goes to the bathroom. <laughs> or seeing them blow their nose. Nikare, Nikare's body doesn't produce snot. Or releasing gas after eating baked potatoes. Nikare's body doesn't release gas. Yeah, you should meet her. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love her. Turd. Welcome. Oh, that's the her brother. Yeah, I thought I was getting confused with uh, Saya's brother. Welcome. A tall young man walks in wearing something. I skipped it too fast. The girl sitting in the back gasps for a moment. He turns his relaxed eyes in our direction. Then he puts on a brisk smile and waves at us. Who's he waving at? Oh, hey. Oh, my name. Hey, Sagimiya! We're over here! The guy, Sagimiya, turns around at the voice and join joins a group of guys at the table in the back. Is he a friend of yours, Maimi? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I guess you could say that. Who is he? Hey, my new own beeswax. That's Sagimiya. He's a year above us and captain of the soccer team. I don't know why, but that ugly chump's actually popular with the girls. Isn't that right, Maimi? Whatever. I guess even somebody like Sagimiya comes to this moment, mom and pop cafe. Kensuke. Don't call it mom and pop cafe. Our establishment has a proper name. Miu Cafe. That's funny. <laughs> I love her. Hi. <laughs> Save? Okay. Oh my gosh, this game lasts forever. Alright. Let's save it. And then uh, we're going to end it again because uh, we are at time and uh, I was over time a lot yesterday. So let's go to sleep. Hopefully the Switch thing works again next time we play. Uh, but tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to continue playing this game. Um, at least not tomorrow. I believe I will continue or I'm going to start playing that KFC game. Um, the hell Colonel Sanders. So maybe this game is a weird segue into it. Um, cause that one I understand is a dating sim, but you know, I'm hoping it's going to be goofy cause it's freaking Colonel Sanders and KFC and it's made by KFC. So that sounds hilarious to me. Uh, so we're going to give that a go, uh, starting tomorrow and then Screamtober is coming up here soon. Uh, not, not prepared for that at all. Oh, uh, that's going to suck. Um, I'm going to have to do some deep breathing exercises for the next two weeks to try to prep myself for the anxiety of that horrible month. Anyways, my friends, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you like and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much you need. Yuri, if you're still around, thank you so much for the bits, my dude. I greatly appreciate it. Birch, as well, thank you for the bits. And Yuri and Sarah, thank you guys so much for the pizza. I'm going to go chow down right on that right now. And then I'm going to go pass out. Uh, anyways, I'm basic. Sleepy one here. It's a clean jada. You got it, man. And uh, I don't know where mom is at. She's probably on the other couch waiting to get some dinner. So I will uh, catch you guys. Uh, yes, probably tomorrow. Um, still got that weird interim. Maybe I'm doing stuff on Wednesdays. But uh, if anything, I will catch you guys Thursday. Uh, but I hope to catch you guys tomorrow. See ya. Get him, get him, get him.
Tchau, tchau.